And welcome back to The Morning Blend. Well, you're looking at an artist rendering of the Fisher House. Think of it as the Ronald McDonald House for our military. It provides a home away from home for families dealing with injury or illness. And it's just a drawing because Wisconsin doesn't have one yet. Yeah, construction will start soon, though. And now the Fisher House is a very important weapon in its corner. And we're thrilled to welcome Haley Bandy. She is the current Miss Racine and has just adopted the Fisher House, Wisconsin, as her official platform for 2014 when she runs for Miss Wisconsin. And Dan Buttry from the Fisher House is also with us. Thanks for being here, both of you. Thank Thank you. Nice to have you. Yeah, appreciate it. So the Fisher House... Um, um, in general, how many are there and why are we hoping to have one here now in Wisconsin? Well, there are 62 across the United States, uh, Landstuhl, Germany, and in England. And they're on active duty military bases next to hospitals, in our case, VAs. Mm -hmm. And so it's almost an equal split across the U.S. Uh, and Milwaukee is important because of the Milwaukee VA, the Spinal Cord Treatment Center, where there's veterans coming from 22 states. And, and now the families will have a place to stay for free once it's built uh, so they can be bedside with their loved one, helping them recover. And what's right. so unique about the, the Fisher House? For one, it's not a hotel. I mean, it's truly a home, and you can mm -hmm. tell that from looking at, at the picture. It's also free to the people who use it, right? Correct. Uh, I myself, I'm a combat uh, veteran, and so the argument is these families have, have have served our country, they've sacrificed enough, it's our turn now to honor them and respect their dedication to our, to our nation. And so it's a way to give back to them and again, for free, these families will be able to stay there so they can be bedside with a loved one, helping them recover. And that's it's arguably some of the strongest medicine is, is a family's love. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what we'd look to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, important. And when you say free, lots of things are free for these veterans. Correct. Uh, now, the, it's privately built, even mm -hmm. though it will be built on the Milwaukee VA. So we're, we're, doing, we're in a capital campaign mode right now. We've been extremely successful with raising, with raising money. We've got a long ways to go, but we've hit such a mile marker that we will be breaking ground June 3rd Great. this summer. Uh, it's estimated to be about a year to construct. And so we're really in the, the final phases of getting this built. And uh, I, I, it's, it speaks volume to Wisconsin and southeastern Wisconsin for getting behind this because nationally they're seeing multiple sites and Wisconsin's really stepped up and, and has brought a lot of money forward. And so it's just a way to get back to these families mm -hmm. and these service men, men and women who have, who have served our country. It's wonderful. Why did you make it your official platform? Well, I do have two brothers currently serving in the United States Air Force, and my oldest brother, Brandon, just returned from overseas. And then my middle brother, Brett, is actually at the 128th, um, the air refueling wing right in Milwaukee next to um, Mitchell International. So I went to a Brewer game with my parents, and I saw that... Dan was actually being honored for his service to the Fisher House, and I was still in the process of just thinking about what I wanted to do with my platform. I know I wanted to make it military-based, but I wasn't exactly sure. And so I went home and I looked um, the Fisher House up, and it instantly hit home to me. I mean, in the event that something terrible would happen to one of my brothers overseas, this really connects to me because my parents, my family, we need somewhere to stay if something tragic would happen to one of my brothers. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when, once it's built, too, how are, um, how are people able to help? Is there a way that people can, can do things? Can they bring meals to the Fisher House? What can they do? Yes. Uh, well, it's, we're all volunteers working mm -hmm. on this. And so uh, the, the families will be able to be supported with folks bringing in meals, um, helping them with uh, purchasing the food. You know, it's, it's a home. And, mm -hmm. and again, mm -hmm. it's going to function as a way they have their, their normal, normal use and, and, and utility. There will be other activities throughout the year. Again, very, you mentioned it before. Uh, mentioned the Ronald McDonald House is a great example yeah, yes. um, mm -hmm. where there's so many activities that can be done with groups and networks of groups. So, uh, but we work closely with the VA with their volunteer network because this again is built on the VA grounds or will be built and so we, we will be working in collaboration with them on what the needs will be long term. Mm -hmm. uh, Steinhoffels recently donated uh, 55000 to us and so that's a long term relationship because mm -hmm. repair and replace and, and so we even have community connections that will help us maintain this long term. Go ahead. I was going to say, you can't celebrate with champagne, though, or vodka, because there's no alcohol allowed. Right. Well, right. It's, it's in a, it's, again, it's a VA setting. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you have, it's, it's, 
it's a place where you have all generations being being served here. You're, it's children, it's family, it's of course family friendly, it's children friendly, and so they have to make sure that it's, there's certain things that are not allowed. So yeah, al alcohol no alcohol free. Alcohol yes. free. Uh, and <laughs> it, it's it, great. It quality of life, uh, a safe, very comfortable, gorgeous, gorgeous building once these are built. So. Yeah. And you've actually established a team, right, mm -hmm. for a 5K run walk? Yes, I did. And the run walk is July 26th. It's at 8 a.m. And I am looking for a minimum of 15 runners or walkers. I established a uh, email and also and on, on the, the Facebook right site. Now. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to contact me if you are looking at running or walking. It's very exciting. I, we're collaborating with the Brewers in the Brewers community, so it's going to be a great time, and we're going to be running around and through. Um, I am in the process of trying to get my running skills up, yeah. and, <laughs> up and going because I'm not a runner, but um, it's going to be great. We're going to run in and through and around. Um, and the racing Miller Park. sausages yes, will be the there. the racing sausages are also involved, so it's going to be very exciting. Um, I made a Gmail account, which it is MissRacine14 at gmail.com, mm -hmm. and you can email me there for more information. I'm also on the Facebook site. You can look me up on Miss Racine Scholarship Pageant. That's great. And there's just, it's going to be a great time. I'm very excited to serve the Brewers community and also my platform, the Fisher House, as Miss Racine. That's it's great. awesome. That's good. You can learn more about the Fisher House by visiting their website. It's fisherhousewi.org. Thanks so much, you guys, and good luck at, uh, good luck at Miss Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank both you. of you.